So here we have the Hyundai i20 on a 64 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the steering wheel controls. On the left-hand side, we have the stereo and phone controls. On the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter for the car. And then over into the centre next, uh, we have the stereo, as you can see. Uh, you can also see it's got AM radio, FM as well. If you listen to your own music, press the media button. Nothing is connected or inserted at the moment, but you can see there we have a CD player. We've also got USB uh, input and auxiliary input as well. You can pair your phone. Uh, by hitting that button and then following the instructions, use the corresponding numbers uh, with what you want to do up here. So pair, connect and cancel, for example, uh, which we'll do at this moment in time. The volume for the stereo is over here on the left hand side. Below that, we have the climate control. You can adjust the temperature, fan speed and direction of the air. When you're happy with those settings, uh, you can turn your air conditioning off in this case or back on again or hit auto. In doing so, the car will now maintain this temperature for you as you can hear it doing, uh, by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. Any manual adjustment will take auto off and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We have a heated driver and passenger seat, both with three heat settings each. We've also got a heated steering wheel just here, which is one setting, so either on as it is now or off again. We have two 12 volt charging sockets, USB and auxiliary inputs, which I mentioned a moment ago and then the five-speed manual gearbox for the car. You can also turn the parking sensors on and off from down here. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the uh, panoramic roof that you can see just here. So uh, firstly, you can open up uh, the sun blind section, should you wish to. You can also see that the sunroof tilts and slides open, should you want to do that. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.